いやあ<笑> I was trying to see how long I could sing for <laughs> I've actually got problems My morning has not been going well for one Anyone who lives in England you will know this weather is not it like I would like to file a formal complaint because it's really affecting my mood that's why I've put on so much fake tan and gone for this really summery makeup I'm sorry I actually look banging look I did a little bit of blue under there cheeky loads of tan nice beachy wave because we are bringing the summer to here we're bringing the summer to us okay I am the sun I am the light all right and then next this Red Bull, I literally walked into a little corner shop, like buzzing, like, oh, gonna get some energy, gonna get some Red Bull. You know, I love Red Bull, haven't had one for two weeks, so I'm trying to be good. <sighs> Savoured every last drop, spilt it tonight, straight on my nice carpet, massive, like, blob of Red Bull. Now my room stinks, and I missed out on my favourite tin. So yeah, that's, that's me, but how are you? Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do bringing it back to the halls today, and we've got a fun one with Zaffle. Can I get a hell yeah for Zaffle? Whether you're a long time Zaffle fan or you've never shopped there, I am here to give you my opinion, especially as someone who is ordering from the UK, someone who is mid size, size 10 to 12. I wear a lot of medium and larges in their clothes. If you are wondering about sizes, I'm here to show you and clear any any little misconceptions up i also have a discount code which is fun it's 18 percent off which is a bit of a random number not gonna lie but we're, we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it it's sadie x18 really easy to remember we'll get you 18 percent off your summer haul hunts especially this haul is going to be good for people who don't live in the uk so anyone who's got a lovely green list holiday planned and the other elephant in the room is i've got a new camera i'm so buzzing so thank you to the person that kept commenting on my videos saying i would subscribe but your camera's shit basically <laughs> we love it and look at me now you can see me in clear if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up it'll mean the world to me and subscribe and if you don't already follow me on instagram you are a fake fan you know, you're a fake fan, I'm just gonna say it. Let's get trying things on. First outfit is this gorgeous little tea dress that I'm wearing, and this dress answered all my dreams. I'd probably say it's my favorite item. I say that it's my favorite item, it's literally the only item I've tried on. <laughs> Cause I've wore it out. I don't see anything topping this. I don't know. It's just so gorgeous, it's only 14 pound. 30 so an absolute bargain but you know what the material feels really nice it's really flattering on the body i really enjoy this wrap section got a little wrap and do you know what if you're like me and insecure about your belly this is perfect because you basically wrap it and it hides all your sins hides the food baby any little podge so you can just feel you know cute because sometimes summer dresses are too tight but this look it literally hides anything and i always find these wrap styles really flattering on the legs so so pretty sage is like the color of the season can't go wrong with a bit of sage you can adjust the straps yourself so you can tie them however tight or loose you want it does have a slight little cups here which i find really flattering and the little frill is just so dainty i wore this out to the pub already just with like some air force but you can definitely wear it with sandals good length as well so if anyone wants to know my sizing by the way i'm like in between a size 10 12 uk i think that's a six to eight us not really good with the us sizes so i'll put it in a, i'll put it in my description but yeah this is a medium and honestly it fits like actually like a glove it looks absolutely stunning 10 out of 10 like who could want anything more for the first item of their haul okay this next outfit well we were i actually have like a body like this gives me body oddy oddy like serving serving i i'm loving green at the moment i'm just gonna say it i'm an addict help me i put my hands up i'm into khaki and i always will be i just think it's never gonna go it's never gonna go out of fashion like a little cute bralette top like this what how many years of bralette has been around for now like 10 like you cannot go wrong perfect for a little holiday or nights out or styling down with jeans this is 1432 and again the material i'm impressed why is my side profile like i don't want to see that in the mirror i don't want to see who is she I, d I don't like myself on the side only for the front does anyone get what i'm saying <laughs> got like really nice ruching khaki ruching around the cups a little i mean the underwire it's not really an underwire it's just like a soft 
one like that but i mean it holds the boobs in nicely you can adjust the straps you've got a lot going on the back i'm not gonna lie i think if i I was actually going out, I'd have to get one of my friends to do it because I didn't really get it, but I like I like it. It's a little lace up moment, just something a bit different to your average standard bralette. But for 14 pounds, very, very happy with that. And it's kind of got seams, looks like a corset. You absolutely beaut. Then let's talk about the skirt. You see a messy bed in the background, mind your business. So this is actually a score, which I enjoy because you know what? skirts when in London when you go up the escalator and the wind just blows them up and just in general like your bum is always out it's it's always a risk I always wear shorts under my skirts anyway but this does it for you so this is 18 and I really needed like a white little a white skirt because I feel like it's so many styling opportunities you can style it in so many different ways so it's got the shorts under and then it's kind of like an asymmetric I will say I got a medium and I probably could have done with getting a large because although it's like really nice thick material figure hugging like gorge I personally like it's just a bit short on me do you see what I mean like the shorts I don't think it's meant to be that short so I'm a size 12 on the bottoms I'd probably say this is better for size 10 so I should have got a large, but that's absolutely fine. It still looks gorgeous and you can kind of like see the fantasy still. You would wear this on a night out or dress down. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like I'm sorry. I don't know who gave me the audacity to wear something like this. Stop it. Do I think I'm Kim K? Honestly, 2015 Sadie has entered the chat. I lived for outfits like this. Like the black co-ord, it really sucks you in got the you know leg out the Angelina Jolie hello but am I gonna flash someone that's what I'm worried about I mean it's incredible I've, it's very flattering I like the asymmetric it's got a little sort of knot here the material does feel like it's really holding me in and for 17 pounds like that's really really good for an outfit like this I mean maybe on holiday I could put it off I paired it with just like an orange heel because I feel like with black you can add, you can afford to add a little colour pop. I'm just worried my fufu is going to come out but like I feel unreal. I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to be around the bush. This is quite fabulous. Very nice if you have curves because it sort of hugs you in the right places. Like it's made to flatter the female form. I like the one shoulder. I definitely wear this top maybe with a different skirt. I mean on holiday... Ibiza, you know, get the little Prada, little Prada bag, we're going out, out, you know, I ain't worried, and do you know what, it does show my little, cute little tattoo that you probably don't see that much, but, I mean, I'm quite into it, let me know your thoughts, would you be brave enough to wear this, I can't believe when I was 18 I'd just wear this and no, thought, like, no qualms at all and just be out in the club, like, I mean, you do, you are sort of covered, what do you think, what are we thinking on this, sexy or too much? Sorry if my camera's moved like a million times this haul. I'm still trying to get used to my room and find the best background, best lighting. Any suggestions will be hugely appreciated. But this, moving back into stark contrast with that other cohort, we're moving back to like the ditzy prints. Zaffel do ditzy prints so well. Like they have worn in every color, every style. So if you like this sort of girly, pretty summer aesthetic, definitely check them out. I actually got this in a large and it feels really nice. Like. Feels perfect. I mean, it's a little bit loose on the waist, but I'm sure like a medium might be too short. So like I said, on the bottoms, I just work best with a large. So if you're the same size as me, go for that. It's kind of giving me like Alice in Wonderland, but like a thought. Alice in Wonderland, but she's a baddie. Like she is ready to go out, out. Could dress it down with trainers or sandals. I f I'm really feeling like a little headband would look cute with this. I love a bardo. Really flattering on boobs. I'm not actually wearing a bra and it, you can't see the nipple. Like it actually <laughs> keeps it in because it's got ruching in the middle. So you can really like pull it how tight you want. Love this sort of neckline. Probably my favorite neckline ever is a bardo. I just think it's so sexy, cute, flattering, all the above objectives it, it mash into one, but a co-ord is just so pretty, especially because you could wear the top separately or the skirt with like a little white top, but yeah, I'm feeling this sort of like princess fantasy. Gorge, absolutely gorge. This one is like about £16. Put all the prices and the sizes I'm wearing in the links because I'm, I'm aware that I haven't been mentioning all the right sizes. Five at three and the length is good, like it covers covers very flowy and pretty 
love 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 tell me it's something that feels illegal but isn't this top like <laughs> what is this i didn't even know my boobs could look this big like i genuinely feel like i've just gone and seen kylie jenner's surgeon or something like whoa my under boob game do be <laughs> bloody strong love the color it's kind of like a caramel brown like really on trend it is a bit hard to work out i'm not gonna lie like you have to kind of wrap it yourself but that's good because it means it caters to every boob size the back crosses over and then yeah like you tie it at the back i'm sure there'll be like multi ways to tie this i'm not that creative i couldn't work it i couldn't work it out i just followed the photo what i think is good though is it really does sort of flatter your shoulders it's a very gorgeous top and you know what you probably could like if i actually wore it like a normal human and not like a <laughs> insta bad you could really just like hide some of it you don't need to like get your whole boobs out i think it's fine and then this skirt i wouldn't necessarily pair these together but to be fair it looks kind of cute it's just like this gorgeous little let me get some space to show you it's like a really nice little tennis skirt i love these for styling i think they're like really cutesy girly just sort of crop tops t-shirts like honestly they just do the most they were a trend last year and i'm glad to see they haven't gone anywhere they're perfect for like little festivals this uh, skirt was actually nine pounds sixty as well so not see-through or anything which is great i got this in a large and as you can see it's like slightly too big for the waist but then i'm worried a medium would have been too small but length wise and everything i think a large i think i would have still stuck to a large because i kind of prefer it a bit oversized it makes your waist look snatched rather than something like stuck to me you know what i'm saying i am worried about having a nip slip but you know we just gotta you just gotta live young wild and free these days i'm actually going clubbing at the end of august i know i'm actually leaving the house for once maybe if i'm brave enough i'll wear this with like a leather trouser or jeans <laughs> hype me up hype me up so the next top i just popped with a little score again because it's really pretty it's like a peplum smocked top like really nice little linen material flares out really flattering goes up into a halter neck and no i haven't done the skirt up because i can't be bothered do not come for me and yes i know another green item i'm just as shocked as you are joking no one is shocked no one's shocked at this point i don't want to hear it i love it it's my it's my only personality trait at this point is wearing green i just think it's fresh gorgeous love it this is like nine pound what a pretty top i'm really into this i probably would wear it more with like a jean or maybe like a white trouser keeping it chill keeps the boobies in it's just really pretty i actually got this in a small because i didn't want it to be too big like you can already see it's meant to be like a relaxed fit you can already see that around the boobs but yeah into this into this no qualms it's all my loves moving on to the bikini part of the haul i finished all the clothes now what did you think and i'm now having a little coffee with some oat milk because we don't have any milk and i'm too lazy to go into the shop look it's my water sad little life jane mug because i do lead a very sad little life reason why i put the bikinis into a different section and i don't stand and show them is because a few people on the internet just ruin it for everyone as in i just get a lot of creepy comments so i don't feel comfortable standing there talking about it it's sad maybe one day i'll change and be able to comfortably stand there it's just a bit intimidating you'll still see the bikini on this side of the camera i think i don't know which side you'll see the bikini on there you have to let me know because i did actually do a whole haul like that like talking through it and then showing it me stood or do you prefer when i chat through it does that make sense please just let me know in the comments which you prefer like this or like how i just did it let me just start by saying zaffle bikini game is so strong as in i filmed a little tiktok with all of these and i like every single one of them that there is no issues that they are fire and so affordable like if you are going to ibiza or something you need to hit up zaffle like i don't think you're ready for the amount of fire that is about to drop on this screen right now let's go this is the asymmetric butterfly bikini and it's 14 pounds i have nothing like this like i have a lot of swimwear i'm obsessed with swimwear and just looking nice on holiday i just love to be naked all the time <laughs> this one is so pretty like it kind of has the cute girly vibe but also i don't know i still find it to be sexy and flattering on your body i'm obsessed with butterflies if you can't blow this hell look i don't know if i've shown you my new one he's flying away butterfly fly away it's got like a little strap you can adjust but it's like a bandeau style so you don't get too much cleavage and then the 
the bottoms i got a large by the way i got a large in all the bikinis because i'm a size 12 and the bottoms they were nice and ruched you can really like adjust them how you want and tie size like a double tie side i find a tie side if you have a big hips to be a super super flattering like you can adjust the way you want it to sit on the hip sometimes putting it up higher makes you look like you've got a smaller waist life hack but yeah i just really like this it's just it's quite fun you know it's quite fun and girly like not it's not like your boom sexy like ocean beach look but you could wear this with definitely like a little blue kimono or something i just think it's really really sweet why is oat milk so good like i've not why have i only just discovered this also how like it literally tastes like oats how do they get milk from an oat like i know i'm really dumb but like i genuinely don't believe that i don't get it Mm -hmm. this is just some things in my life that i'll never understand but i also can't be asked to google so let me know how do they do it and soy like do they milk the bean what oh isn't a bit nah i'm not i'm not having this today but it's fucking lovely the next item we're going to talk about is literally tangled on the floor and inside out <laughs> where is my professionalism gone you know where is it gone up my ass apparently no it's annoying me now this is actually like tetris or something this is like one of those what are those square things called rubik's cube <laughs> tetris actually a swimsuit it's this lovely snake it's got a little bit of pink running through very sexy very smelly again i also like snakes as you can tell i really like reptiles like i really want a pet lizard oh my god i met a boy on a night out um well, we met these boys on a night out obviously pre-dom and we all went back to their house and he had a fucking lizard and i was obsessed with it and he let me hold it and it was just it was a really good day i really want to i wonder how his lizard's doing i hope he's doing okay um but it's like a plunge neckline so for me personally like i just think it's so flattering on the boobs and then you can tie the little band like really in so it just gives you like that bond girl energy the snatch shows the bum like this is the kind of thing i'd wear on holiday with my friends maybe with like a little black mesh skirt heels rocking up to the beach club like yo i am here and i'm about to slay got padding as well so hides the nipple and gives you a little bit of boost i think most of their bikinis have padding in that you can take out but damn damn this is sex on legs now this gorgeous little green number is from the brit manuela collection and all the bikinis in her collection was really really stunning this color is gorge on like a tan i don't know it's just very unique i haven't really got anything like this what I will say, yeah, is I feel like I was trolled a little bit by the picture because she is really skinny and she has, like, smaller boobs and it looked insane on her. It's got a lot of cutouts, it's got a lot, of, a lot going on, as you can see. Like, what is happening right now? Mate, on me, it looks borderline inappropriate. It looks a bit like that top, like a bit illegal. I mean, I felt sexy as hell, but look, it's barely covering... It's barely covering anything, but I did, I mean, I'm down for a skimpy bikini sometimes. Like, there's a time and there's a place. Maybe not my boyfriend's family, Paul. Maybe I won't be rocking this around Emily. I don't know if she would appreciate it. But, with my Hans, maybe a little, I don't know, pool party vibe. With, a, with something over, like a little mesh thing over to restore your modesty. I could fuck with this. I could fuck with this. Was it, does it cater for bigger boobs? Maybe not, but I'm still enjoying it nonetheless. Let me know your thoughts. This was one of the more expensive items of swimwear, but for good reason, because it's actually a three-piece set. They have loads of these, which I think is very good value for money, because you get kind of a few outfits in one. And if you are a little bit insecure about your belly like me, girl, this one will be for you, because it hides everything. It makes you just feel a 10 out of 10, like I could take on the world wearing this. Also, the colour. I just thought this is very different, like a little yellow two-tone situation it kind of almost looks it's not it is floral but it has a kind of tribal print energy it's just a triangle bra with padding really boosts the boobs and then the bottoms are kind of like sexy they do show a lot of bum shake some ass i mean it's time for me it's a shake my ass on a yacht i will be honest i have been on uk soil for far too long like i'll take a trip to edinburgh at this point like just get me away but then it has this gorgeous a little matching skirt like got the tie ruching on the side so you can really really do the most for your figure whoever designed this needs a raise give them a raise right now i love it but yeah definitely check them out because they've got a few little t-shirt options too you know jazzing it up really it's taking that going the extra mile for swimwear we are
The final bikini is a little colour block moment. We know just from TikTok that colour blocking and bright colours have been everywhere this year. And I think Zaffle is definitely a good place for swimwear if you want trend swimwear. Like if you're going on a two week or a one week all inclusive, my Marbella with the girls, Malia with the girls, wherever you are going, it's best to go Zaffle because they're not expensive and you can get loads. There's always like little deals on there. Obviously you've got my discount code. Obviously you're going to use that. <laughs> You can literally get a bikini for every day, every occasion. Why the F not? Like, come on. Do I bikini top and shorts? That's what I always do. I really like the um, boob bit of this. I didn't think I would. It's kind of ruched and it's kind of like a crop top. But I don't know. It makes your boobs look absolutely huge, which I love, obviously. I'm a 32 double D if anyone wants to use me for like a size reference. But I did get a large in all of these. But yeah, again, quite flattering. Little cuts in the right way all of them are pretty flattering like what do you think let me know your favorite one but yeah that concludes oh, let me have another sip of my oat, oat coffee the whole my love so thank you yet again for watching another one of my hauls watching me chat crap for ages don't forget to use my discount code if you do get anything from zaffo and i would love 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 to hear in the comments what you thought of everything but yeah until next time lovelies i will see you very very soon